It's a big day for North Carolina A&T. School leaders talked about leaving the Big South and joining the Colonial Athletic Association. Amanda, this is a big deal for university athletics. Chad, it is. This means North Carolina A&T will be a part of a bigger conference. The Colonial Athletic Association will now have 13 members in the conference with the addition of A&T. Only a handful remain in the Big South. Now remember, A&T left the MEAC to join the Big South two years ago. The Aggies only a part of it for a year, though. They'll transition to the CAA starting July 1st, football waiting another year. Athletic Director Earl Hilton tells us about the timing of this move. We certainly didn't join the Big South with the intention of leaving in two years. Uh, that was not at all our game plan. Um, so we had those considerations. We just got someplace. Should, should we stick and, and build here and then move? And ultimately, as we looked at the data and the opportunities, and as, as in reference already today, the, the changing landscape in Division I athletics, the decision was made we should, we should jump now. We should move now and then make, continue to grow and develop uh, in a new space, in a new conference. With this change, Hilton says A&T is looking to raise and invest $80 million to upgrade athletic facilities and complexes on its campus.